previously. Well, this is a C6Z that we did our heads cam package on probably two years ago now, maybe a year and a half. Become a friend of ours, name is AJ. He's pretty excited for this. He is doing an a, &A kit on top of this heads cam, just like the red one we just did. Similar setup, stock intake manifold, should make similar power. Upper 700, so maybe close to eight. Meth fuel system Meth too. Meth fuel system, yep. Uh, clutch as well. Oh, you are doing a clutch. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So Matt's got himself a C6Z. What are we, uh, what are we doing this besides draining all of the fluids? Our heads and cam package with uh, ported MSD intake injectors. Already had a bear ram and exhaust. Already got a cam. I'm not sure what cam it is, but oh, okay. we are removing it and installing a B3. So as you can see, the trailer and RV are gone. We got a lot of room for activities, but that means Fran is racing. Fran is at Yellow Bullet right now racing. Wish him luck. We got a lot of other things going on in the shop, so we're gonna get to that and some more racing footage next week. Stay tuned, subscribe. There she is. Oh, give it back to the customer. Yep. So Matt's got the patented butt slayer. By the way, Eric has to come up with a new cam name for the LT5. As many people have pointed out, Texas Speed already has a magic stick. So, Eric, did you uh, do your homework assignment? New cam name. There she goes. Okay. So Eric's been working on the meth system, as you can see by the uh, pro meth boxes. Let's check out his tank. That's good. Can I help you? I mean, if you would like to. Do I know what I'm doing? I mean, I know what you're doing, but I would like you to tell the viewers what you're doing. I'm preparing this MAMO ported MSD intake manifold for installation. What do you mean? They don't come ready for installation? They do not. What do you have to do, man? Unfortunately, you have to select one of three map sensor ports and drill it out. Is that all you have to do? Pretty much it. I thought you had to add gaskets and all that stuff too. Yeah, a few gaskets. Just the main bottom gaskets. Take gaskets. I actually don't think we've ever covered this. I usually just kind of really? show you guys installing it. So. There's the there inner... Is. Let's see how it is. Supporting. Uh, yeah, this is bigger. That ported for the throttle bodies we use, the Nick Williams. Yep. It's always a good idea to check this 10 millimeter nut, make sure it's snug. So we generally remove that. That's a good idea. Generous amount of Loctite. Blue stuff. And then we always make sure to uh, Loctite when going on to the uh, back together. Some people online have said there's a call port. Usually if you don't have to tell you. Always a good idea. Right. You're using the front one? Yep, stock location, GS6 stuff. Okay. So we're gonna drill that out so we can use the uh, sensor on there. There's other locations you can use, but because if they're already drilled out, you would have to block them off. So this is the easiest way. You get to pick. Yep, and I always just double check these 
these are like a injector, really just dust shield kind of O-rings. Make sure they're sitting correctly. Especially when you take this top shell off, they can kind of... Yeah, sometimes they'll pop off and you won't notice and then you don't notice until you go and try and put your injectors in. Right. So the way it looks good, that's about it. Everything gets torqued to 79 inch pounds on these. 79 inch pounds. Okay. Swap that over from the old intake along with the vacuum and brake booster lines off the back. I like to go ahead and put my new injectors and fuel rail in, hoses, and throttle body. Let's check it out. My neighbor. And did you just say I should be your neighbor? I said, won't you be my neighbor, Mr. Rogers? Uh, I don't know who Mr. Rogers is. You should probably first off, Mr. Rogers could NG kill you with a, a pencil. No, he could not. That whole Navy SEAL thing is false. Huh? You, it's fake. You think all real things are fake? It, dude, it was it's it was busted numerous times. He was never a Navy SEAL. It's fake news. Mm. Sounds like Woody the Woodpecker over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was never a uh, Navy SEAL. Did you see the new movie coming out that Tom Hanks plays Mr. Rogers? It actually looks pretty sick. No. It looks pretty cool. Just check it out. Did you know Mr. Rogers from, was from Pennsylvania? Do you know how much brain space you're wasting with the information you're telling me right now? He's from near the Pittsburgh area. I'm just saying. These are things everybody should know, man. Have you ever been to Pittsburgh? I have. What does that get torqued to, Matt? 89 inch pounds, Steve. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna have to grab a little extension. Yeah. I should have known that. I did know that, actually. Then why didn't you do it? Show the viewers that you would need it. There you go. What's next, Matthew? Uh, probably grab these lines off this jump. Swap this right over. Now, go back to your 10 millimeter socket. Oh, you're actually trying to be like professional now? No, that's install video. I gotta start my own YouTube channel. You should. These both need to come out of the way. Save these, because you'll be reusing them. Go ahead and sit here. Are you lying about something? Stop can take manifold out of the way. Let's work on that fuel rail. <laughs> Eric's gonna have to do another one of these when we do the five inch intake video. Yeah. yeah the one we've been trying to do for five years. For five, yeah, legit five years. We started one and then we got too busy and then we started another one and we got too busy. There is a five inch intake install video coming. 2020. <laughs> What are you doing now, Matt? I'm using a flat blade screwdriver to remove the injector retainer clips. You mean a flathead? I usually do them by hand. Eric apparently does them by hand. That's because Eric's cooler than me. <laughs> That's 
why he has more YouTube followers. Uh, he has no YouTube yeah, followers. Yeah, Instagram followers. I don't even have a YouTube account. That's real nice. And once you empty the fuel out, you get the injectors out. Pick your favorite, uh... What's that? Uh, what's the petroleum? Petroleum. Like your favorite petroleum based lubricant. And <laughs> Mine's Vaseline. Vaseline use, does I just well. Vaseline? You sure can. What about spit, Matt? Can I use spit? Uh, probably be a little tight with spit. You need a new brush on that. Well, it's Eric, so I don't really care. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And you pop the fuel rail back in. Fish these vacuum hoses over top the oil pressure switch and underneath the evaporative. Evaporative line. Also, before we get all the way back there, we'll set up the intake bolts and drop them in. I'm just gonna hang out right there. Yeah, because the long bolts. If you don't put the long bolts back here before the intake goes back, you're not going to get them in underneath this cow. So it's a good idea to put them in now. Then when you move it back, they'll be in. It's a good trick. I'm just going to set them all up real quick. Oh, okay. Make sure you got your washers on there. Or as Matt would call them, washers. Yes, the important part is the O-rings, which if you failed to carefully read the instructions, you would miss that. Washer, then O ring, and Loctite. This point, re installation is just like. The removal of your stock intake manifold. There you go. Then bolts in. Working 89 inch pounds.
this thing. It's got a pretty loud um, like valve train tick when it's warm, so he wants a cam, so we're gonna go ahead and delete the DOD, get rid of those DOD lifters, uh, put L7 lifters in it, put a cam in it, and uh, should fix it. Definitely, I would think. I'm sure it's just those DOD cams. Uh, lift lifters <laughs> are problematic. Yeah. How many miles are I'm not sure. Very clean though. So that's another reason why we're not base sending it. We would uh, we would rather fix the issue, get a final number than just mess something up on a baseline. We already know typically what we should do. It's got headers and an intake. Manual, auto. Auto. Yeah, it's good. that's you're right. Go ahead. Sorry. He's right. I made it stupid. Why you why not? Because manuals don't have DOD. Uh, only autos do. He's right. I wasn't thinking, Eric. You know, we all make mistakes. So, Eric, what are you doing? Uh, installing the fuel pump. All right. Right here. Right here. So filter line, filter. Pump. We'll sit like this. Or similar to like this. Yeah. And then this thing will be like part of the. See what I mean? Let's see. So here's the cubby hole area for the meth tank, and then you've got your pro meth pump on there. Mount it right underneath wiring everything to it nice and clean. The wheel well will go back on, cover all that stuff up, which is nice. Same with the fuel system. Let's take a look at your fuel system up top. The one I'm doing now is the feed from the, uh, the low side pump that I installed in the back. And then I still need to do the return one. It's a lot of AM fittings. Yeah. Is. So mess all done, fuel system's getting wrapped up now. Obviously the anti kit's on, air coolers on, tanks mounted, pads in. You got what? Just the pipe and uh, wire the fuel system. Wire the fuel system. You got the intake to do with the uh, dual nozzles and that's pretty much it, right? Yep. Well, we have a regulator here, regulates fuel pressure. We have our factory feed going on one side, secondary pump going in the same, teed in on the one side, through the regulator regulating the pressure into the factory rail. And that's basically the fuel system. And, and then where's your return go? And then we'll have the return that'll go back into the tank. Okay. And the return goes what, on the bottom of the regulator? Yes. Okay. Thanks, Eric. That's exactly what I it. wanted. Yeah. It's <laughs> so helpful. What a, what a helpful guy. I mean, I just am not very good at the, the whole... Uh... And even though I know these things, it's, it's, it comes better coming from you because you're installing it. You're the expert, as they say. As they say. As they say. See anything unusual yet? No, nah, not yet. Okay. Trying to get the heads off now, so. I saw one question online, someone asked, because in one video we did a tuning of one of these, a red auto fit gen Camaro. Someone asked, is it bad to turn off the DOD lifters? Well, it's actually better for the long run for these, because what happens is, in order for these lifters to become compressed, they're not pumped with oil, and that's how it goes into four-cylinder mode. When we turn them off, they're pumped with oil 24-7. So turning off DOD actually has a less likely chance for a lifter to get stuck. It's literally better for everything. The transmission, it, it greatly affects the torque converter. Right. DOD's terrible. Yeah, exactly. So some people think oh, tuning is going to affect things, could be an issue. It's actually way better to turn your DOD lifters off. 
because they're always pumped with oil. They're never off, essentially. When something lacks oil is usually when it's going to fail. So you got the heads off. What's the verdict on the lifters? How they look? Everything look normal. Did it? It's hard to see if you get, you know. Those look like a little more worn than I'm used to. It's got some decent wear. It's wires, every though. lobe though. Yeah. Looks like he was not changing oil. I don't know. Yeah, it's Eric, these good. lobes look more worn to you than normal? Eh, how many miles are on it? We, nobody knows. I mean, they don't, you can't feel yeah, anything. Yeah, I can't feel it. anything. Got the valve springs all done. Head's going back on. New front cover. Cam's all done. Yep, new valley cover. Man. Visually stick out as a cause for the noise. I have a massive manifold beach. Oh, really? Yeah, probably with noise, though. Yeah. It's all manifolds leaking like a surf. Oh, so that was what we think might be the issue. Shorty's dog. Shorty headers? Oh man. So he's got cats and stuff on him? Yeah. Oh wow. That's all. I haven't seen that done in a while. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I should just throw a set of stock exhaust manifolds on it. So it definitely doesn't leak, but... That makes sense. So we're thinking the uh, ticking noise is most likely his exhaust leak because he's got some Shorty headers to stock cats. We usually do uh, on all of our setups, we do uh, long tubes. You could have bought it this way. They uh, look like they've been on there for a while. So uh, what's the deal with the headers? Um, it seemed to be the, the rear runner on both sides. Okay. So I did go ahead and put a very small amount of high temp RTV. Okay. Um, you know, it's not something I usually like to do, but the only other option I'm hoping the bolts just weren't tight before, but just to be safe, put a little bit of that stuff in there. And... Yeah, the, the correct thing I really would be do is take these out and change them out, but I don't think the customer wants to. Yeah, I was going to call Bill this morning and ask him about putting the stock set on because I think they have some, but that's kind of defeating the purpose, so. Yeah. Back. So AJ's car's all wrapped up. Yep, ready for the dyno. Nice. You want to go kind of do a rundown of everything that we did? Uh, previously had our heads cam package. Just did the A and A kit, meth, and fuel system, and a clutch. Clutch, clutch and a catch can. Yeah. Catch can. Cash can. It's not a cash can. It's I mean, a catch that's what can. you call it. It's a catch. Jesus, Eric. Yep, the catch can. The A and A kit, meth fuel system and a monster clutch. Turned out nice. Turned out yep, good. ready for the dyno. So now this is done, what's your uh, what's your next project? Um, that blue C6Z um, was a victim of uh, the valve uh, issue with the C6Zs, oh, L7. Really? Yeah, it dropped the valve, so we're replacing the engine. Damn. Oh, there's the valve. Or that is the valve. That yeah, the there's the valve, valve right there. The... But you see the piston back here? Oh, I see that. Jeez. Here's the valve. Let me grab it. Yeah, grab the valve. There it is. That's something to hang on to. Wall of shame right there. <laughs>